First time I joined this course, but not my first time in uh, Hong Kong. I was here three years ago, oh. also. Oh, so I was at the conference uh, center uh, right uh, across the harbor, uh, about conference about mobile communication and control room. That's my subject, where I'm uh, good in, in Holland. So it uh, is my second time, but my first time for the course. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think about this? It was uh, very good uh, to be here. It was uh, uh, on a good level. Um, it was very nice to have uh, a lot of good talking with uh, colleagues from aboard. What you find out is that uh, within uh, a couple of days, we all share the, the same challenges. We all have the same shared, the shared because we're all policemen. Mm -hmm. And if you're from Europe, or if you're from Hong Kong, or if you're from Australia, after some talks, we find out that we all have the same challenges about giving a good performance to the public, um, getting the bad people behind the bars, things like that. So I think uh, it was very good to be here. And I think it's al also very important that you don't... Um, th well, I think it's very important that we see the differences and we accept the differences because we have different historics, different traditions. But at the end, I think we all have the main, the same reasons why we're here as police to make a better and a safer society. I was the most impressed about uh, the, the knowledge we have as a group about what's, what should be done by policing, what should be the next steps in policing, what about the changes in society, what about social media, how we will uh, uh, invent our, our way of working in the future. Um, I think that will be the biggest, uh, uh, the, the, the biggest discussions we have. Uh, that was nice to talk about, yes. Uh, so the, uh, No problem. Uh, talking about, uh, you having a great time here because you learned the people, yeah. you the people here, and then you had uh, learned something here. That would be impressive. Yeah. Then what you learned would be most impressive, or uh, it can be applied to your work or any other aspect like uh, family. Um, what I f what what was very impressive was the role of the media. It's very different as in Holland. Uh, in Holland, uh, our relationship with the media is a little bit more easy. We don't have to challenge the media as often as the people in Hong Kong, the colleagues in Hong Kong does. I think that's a big, big, uh, 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 different way of the way I, I look to the police. And it was very, very good to, uh, to, to have a discussion about it because that's different for me. That was a new thing for me. And also the things about critical thinking. How to uh, can you do critical <laughs> thinking in a group? And the method about it. So instead of having straight a discussion, write something down on paper. Let everybody uh, uh, give a challenge to speak about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, make your mind up as a group. I think that was uh, very good uh, to do. And the last part was very uh, um, useful for me was uh, the, the course we had yesterday about internal communication. We had uh, the man from us internal. We had a guy from, I don't know his name anymore, but we had a guy from Australia and he was doing internal communication. And um, that was very good because internal communication is a very important part of our job. Um, we as managers, we are bosses. <laughs> We always talk, but the question is, do we communicate? Because if you communicate, there's always uh, um, a way of spreading the message and getting a message and get a relationship with people around it. So my question is always, am I only speaking or am I communicating with people? Do I listen to people? Um, and that was, uh, uh, for me, it, it was great to have that discussion and that visions about internal communication again. I like, I, I think, I liked the part com internal communication the most.
Well, I think uh, it's it's very uh, useful to share because. Uh, my, my point, my, my question no is problem. Any uh, special, interesting story you want to share with us? Well, um, I'm a Dutchman. I come from Holland, a different uh, country, and I think um, uh, my story is I'm a positive man. I have a posi positive view about the world, and I s my my vision is if you want to change the world start by yourself so the only way to start uh, uh, your uh, the people around you or your bosses the only thing you can do is start uh, changing by yourself and the most important thing about changing yourself and changing your uh, environment is start with a laugh and end with a laugh today so I every I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a person who uh, tries to have a lot of fun in his job I think having fun is very very important because it's most of the time a very tough job we have and uh, to make it a little bit easier there should be humor you should have a laugh and when you start in the morning start with a smile and when you go home end with a smile and uh, uh, I think that's very important and what I think is very important is that you are the person that can make really the difference not your boss not the people below you can influence them, but it's always yourself that have to make the big step forward. And sometimes it's a big step, and sometimes a small step, but always go for it. Thanks, you're a nice man. Any suggestion then for this, uh, for the host, you want to make? Uh, about the course or about uh, anything? Anything. Well, um, um, I, I said in my evaluation, I uh, expected a little bit more about personal leadership. What is your role as a person, um, especially in your way of, the, of being the leader and to uh, how you can change your environment, how you can change the people around you. I expected to have a little bit more about personal leadership and personal effect, effect, eff, effectivity, personal effectivity. Yeah. But further, uh, uh, it was great. Uh, we started with a jump at 10 meters high yeah. to the ball. So I know. you were there. I witnessed that. Oh, you've did. Uh, uh, no, no, historical moment. It was a really historical moment. I had a heartbeat of 200. So, uh, and I've done a lot of strange things, but it was great to do. And we're ending here with a view over the harbor. So, it was really, really great. Are you scared at that time? Yes. Well, um, <laughs> Graham was the first, so Graham did it, and I thought, well, if Graham can do it, he's he's a little bit special be because of a background. But I thought, when he can do it, I can do it. And at the end, uh, Adi did it. Mm -hmm. Well, I said, if Adi goes for it, I have to go for it. So, yeah, I was one of the last persons, and I was a little bit terrified, but. I saw that everybody did it, and then my positive way of living. What you scare most? What do you scare most? Climbing up. Climbing upwards. Oh, you, you have a height. Uh, you scare the height. Well, I'm not fond of height, mm -hmm. but I'm not a really a fear of height. Of, of height, I have. Uh, I'm a little bit. Um, I'm. 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 I'm, 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 I'm careful.